Hello, this is Cheyenne, and welcome to Chicks with Chris. Tell me your guys' numbers. Not 20. 7. Seven. What was the wisdom saving throw? It was 18. 18. 18. So give me your rolls again. Not 20. I got a 7. 18. 21. And the Emrys got a 6. <laughs> you dumb. So, Keo, Red, and Barakas, you guys f feel nothing as you step through the main arch of the maze. But you, Iremesh, you feel slightly sick. Mm. And so does poor little Emrys. I hope uh, Iron Mesh and Emrys. They they just just feel a bit weird. They, they, there's no visible. I'll keep my own in just in case. Yeah, just in case. All right then. As you step through the maze, in front of you is a wall. To the right, for about ten feet, there's a blank wall, like dead end. But to the left, you can see it seems to be continuing on for quite a while. There's a just a long row of the hedge maze. Which way do you guys want to go? Can we use percep perception? Kind of. I guess, yeah, actually, roll, roll for perception. I'm assuming you guys don't go to the dead end, right? Yeah. You'd be going to make your way to the left. Yeah, we're going to the left. I'm following them. I have a 15, but I'm 18. I'm making sure. Uh, 17. Okay. Emerson and Iron Rush are okay. As you guys begin to go on for about maybe 15 feet, there's still the way in front of you, but then to the right is your first turn. Do you guys want to continue going on straight or make a turn? Sure. Make a turn? Yeah, turn. Turn. Yeah, so you got you guys turn uh, to the right, and actually for uh, for about maybe 30 feet, it goes on until you have no choice but to make a left and then another right. It just seems to continue on that way. And as you guys go, it, it's... It seems like it's getting a bit fuzzy, and I'd like you guys again to make another wisdom saving throw. Sixteen. Seventeen. Nineteen. Uh, Emrys kind of stops for a moment and throws up. Yeah. He throws up on your shoes, Iron Mesh. Or, I'm sorry, your your feet. Great. Yeah, and, and, and as that's happening, you're a bit distracted there. But you guys can kind of like see, it gets a little bit hazy in front of you, but you can see from maybe about 50 feet ahead of you, there's uh, a wall. There doesn't seem to be any more twists or turns. I like to roll for the seven to see if there's anything there. 17. 17? It seems like there's something at the end of the wall. Like there's something like a, a small pile of something uh, lying there. I tell them, uh, I inform the group, I'm gonna, there's something there, I'll check it out. Uh, keep an eye on, uh, Everest, he's, something's messing with him. Oh god, I'm so sorry, it's all over your toes! Oh my god. So I go in and I, I think check for your own sake, I'm just gonna give a little create water, because I don't think anyone wants that on their feet. No. Thank you. You're using up a spell slot? Yeah. Okay. Just one. Yeah, and um, Kyo, as you're, as you're walking uh, closer, like, you, 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 it's, it's just a little bit hazy, but you're able to see through like a slight illusion and you actually see there's a small pile of rope uh, lying on the ground. I take the rope for some place. It's about, you, you guess it's about 20 feet. Okay. So yeah. I take the rope. And aside from that, it's a dead end. Uh, I walk back and I inform them that there was only just 20 feet of rope there, but it, it seems like it could be easy. Yeah, and you, and you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make you guys remember how to get back, but yeah, yeah we you, backtrack. Yeah, you guys have backtracked to where you were before, and there's just the long hedge maze, just the long hall in front of you. And you guys continue on until there's just a couple twists and turns, but there's no way for you, there's no other way for you guys to go until you come to a, a fork in the road. To the left, uh, you can see a short uh, path that will turn one way into the right. If you guys, to, to the right, there's uh, an opening, and then a little bit further right, there's a dead end. Would you guys like to go to the left, or head straight? Straight? Yeah, I would say straight. Okay, you guys uh, begin to head straight, 
and there and as you guys stop you guys notice oh hey there's a, a another split just a uh, right beyond where the red right beyond where the right there was the locked air, the the dead end as soon as you pass it oh hey there's another little little path going on to the to the right do you guys want to keep going straight or to that little path on the right that's the right yeah yeah, so you guys went onto the small path, onto the right, and as you guys begin to go through, there's no choice but to turn left and follow down uh, a long pathway once again, and to just continue following. No more twists and turns, but I'd like you guys to make another wisdom saving throw. Unnatural 20. 15. 16. Okay, um, Emerus, he's just kind of standing there, and he's like, You guys, you guys, shh, shh, this is not the right way to go. Shush, shush, be quiet. I said, stop talking, and he's gently patting your knee, I mesh. This is, this is not the way to go. This is not, not it. And you, you guys see, like, j like your vision's getting a little bit fuzzy again, but it's starting to, to break and crackle away. As you continue following this path, you see there's another dead end, and and there's nothing there this time. Oh, uh, backtrack. And you guys continue forward. Mm, I think so. Yeah. 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 And as you continue going forward, there's a, a wall, and it actually seems like going forward this way, it's leading you closer to the tower, but there's no paths going to the right, only two going to the left. There's one, and then there's two a bit farther up. Where would you guys like to go? I think, or uh, could you please repeat it? There's uh, there's there's two paths going to the left. You can go forward a little bit more. That one's closer to the tower. And 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 quickly looking through both of them, you see there's there are two long hall, there are two long pathways. I think the one closer to the tower. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that one. Okay, and as you guys continue walking, there is a fork in the road. There's to the left and to the right. Next, you go to the left, and you guys actually continue on walking through another longer, longer pathway until you reach a door where there's another play. Uh, not a door, another path, open path where you can go to the left or to the right. And Emrys, uh, he 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 begins to walk toward the left. This is the right way. This is where we should be going. This is the right way. It just he just keeps walking. I don't get the picture. I'll follow just in case. We'll backtrack to me. So we wait here then? You guys will just go with them. We'll take it on the drive and never anything back. Okay. So we'll go the opposite direction then? Might as well. Maybe there's a or something. Okay. Yeah. Iron Mesh, Keo, and Barakas, you guys head down to the right. And, the, and there's nothing there. But for Red and uh, Emrys, you see that there's a chest sitting on a dead end. Nestled against the wall, and Everest is just walking towards it. I'm gonna try and use the staff to 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 kind of hook him and lift him off the ground. Make a strength check. Yeah, I hate using strength. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm trying different ways. So that will win. I got an 18. You managed to, to to lift him up, and he begins to flail his arms around. And he's like, "No, I need the chest." This is the right way. This is the right way to go. It's the only way. And he's just like flailing his little arms around. Oh, okay, little shrimp. Why is this the right way to go? Because that's what the walls said. The walls said this is the right way to go. Listen, listening first. Nothing. You're gonna actively listen now. Well, I kind of have no choice. You begin to hear, as as you close your eyes, you begin to hear like soft whispers of the hedge maid, maze around you. And it tells you, yes, this is the way, this is where you're supposed to be. This is the exact spot you need to stay. You won. It's just like soft, like whisperings telling you this is We're the right place. We're gonna turn that off now. That, that, that don't sound right. And, uh, Emrys, you... You hear a slight rip and Emerson's has fallen off of your staff oh, and he's sorry. scrambling towards the chest now. Well, I'm going to attempt to probably try and grab him. Watch me fall flat on my face. Alright. Okay. Six. 
He's so that, that, that even if my bonus, that ain't gonna be much. No, he's escaped uh, fr- from your grasp, and he runs at the chest. Actually, he kind of trips and slams into it. And as you're staring at him and the chest, there's a bright burst of light that happens and loud screaming. And you and Emrys are both uh, temporarily blind. I just got into the back of my mind, uh, opens the chest. I can see clearly now. The, the rain, rain is gone. gone. It's the opposite. Well, first things first, staff locate the stupid dwarf. Uh, He's a no. gnome. Right. No. I keep forgetting why, because I hate people. And you guys no, hear, no. like, the, the screaming. And you guys see, like, a faint flash of light. What are you guys going to do? I suppose we should go back. Might as well. But yeah, you're scrambling around, so make a perception check at disadvantage. Just to see if you can feel around yeah. for him. Well, I know that is Perception, you said? Yes. Alright, so I also want 15 plus 6 is. No, not 6, plus 4. Um, 19. You're able to locate Emrys. Uh, pretty easily, and you grab onto him. And as that's happening, you guys see Red and Emrys kind of stumbling around, and an empty chest open on the ground. You're wetting the note? I'm going to probably end up dragging the note to the nearest freaking wall and using set to touch. From that point on. Yeah, you guys have arrived now, and you can you can see them scrambling around for help. I pick up uh, I inform Red. Uh, we're here. We'll help. So I pick up uh, Emrys and then I ask Iron Mesh if she's willing to tie Emrys to her back. Well, wow, sorry, I have never done that before. Help me! Help me! I'm blind with my beautiful eyes! No, I guess so. Do not listen to the plants. Yeah, we're in a fake garden. Plants fly. You guys yeah, pass through the Fey Garden yeah, to get to here. We're passing through. We don't know that the maze is Fey no. as well. Fey influence. I would, I, I would actually like you guys to make an Arcana check. Red at disadvantage. You're kind of preoccupied with the fact that your eyes are burning. Twenty one. Eleven. Plus my sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, you guys. I guess about fifteen. You can tell that this, like, area, it, it feels a lot like the Fae Garden that you walked by earlier. It seems to have definitely have some powerful influence over what's going on in this maze. And the maze has influence of the Fae. Oh, great. It just the makes me confused. But you guys are pretty much, after the, a bit of time, you guys are managed to... You don't guys have trust managed. Them, just like you don't trust the fucking no. <laughs> yeah, you guys have managed to backtrack all the way back this happened. to where the, I am, uh, the left path I'm was. I'm offering help to you, uh, Red. I'm fine. I just follow your voices. Um, like I just like offer my arm. Make a wisdom check at disadvantage. Mm. The, uh, I'm I'm sure. the just Red. Just Red, probably. Uh, Nineteen. Damn. Even at disadvantage. Yeah, it's like, You hear the soft whispers, but you manage to push them away. But you guys have made it back, and there's the second left pass that leads down another long hall, the one that you guys didn't go through. Let's go down that one. Okay. Let's clarify that one. Do you want mind? Uh, turn, you said left? Yeah, it's the first uh, left pass. Turn left here. Get it. Yeah, and you guys are able to continue on without any problems, really. Just straightforward path. There's a, a single turn that goes right. Alright, I motion to write that there. Oh, I'm going to turn right. Motion? She doesn't no, see the motion. Like, no, not motion, <laughs> but you know, help her guide her. You can That's tell her I want to touch help her. To guide. She doesn't want to touch her. Vocally, help her, uh, help to guide her. There we go. That's the phrase of words I need. I'd like you guys to make another wisdom saving throw. Red, yours are at disadvantage from now on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17. I got 18. 
15. Well, I don't think I'm even going to roll that second one. What'd you get? The worst thing you can get. A one. Yep. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, Red, you look down, like, to that right path, and you're like, no. I can't see. Uh, yeah, no, no, you feel, like, he says to go to the right, and you feel, like, okay. screaming, no, 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 you need to get out of here. You went the completely wrong way, and you begin to scramble your way back. <laughs> I go hearing, back into a bush. I go after Red. Hearing the maze begin to scream, and, uh, and then uh, the Emrys throws up on you, Iron Mesh. <laughs> he just tries to get away from you, but you've tied him to your back, so. Um, actually, I think Baraka should be the one going after Red. Yeah, you see her. Because she doesn't want me touching her because, yep, metal. And as Red is actually running, you see the hedge open up slightly and Red falls through. (laughs) Well, that's new. Yep. Well, you failed this time. I failed. That's a new one. That's right. I'm going to go try to retrieve my fellow druid. I want you to make. Uh, I saw that before she does. Can I do something real quick? Sure. I give I give you one end of uh, the twenty foot rope. That way, if you ever get if you do get lost, you can find twenty feet. It. I have freaking fifty feet of rope in the pack. Oh shit! And with that, the <laughs> hedge closes because there was the whole rope conversation that happened. Don't worry, I'll find them. Red, you are left alone with the whispering plants right now. And they're whispering, whispering such awful things in your ears. Wait, nothing. Whisper, whisper. This is one of those sit down and, you know, I've been practicing blocking this out for a year. I can do this. And hopefully you can. Dear fucking Lord. And I'm blind, too. And you're blind. So, yeah. So you guys are stuck now. Well, I'm stuck. I don't know where they are. <laughs> yeah, Red has disappeared through the hedge maze. Emrys is throwing up on everyone, and there's still that path to the right, but you guys haven't exactly gone down yet. So what are you guys going to do? Well, we need to find Red. You can... Okay. Did we have a rest between the two tasks? No, you did not. Yeah, so so sorry. What are you guys going to do now? So yeah, we need to find Red. What should we do? Druid. Plant person. Nature person. (laughs) Nature person. Don't talk to the plants. You can't trust the plants. Okay, well then let's do the opposite of what they think. They're they they uh, they think in circles. I have uh I have an idea. So they're yeah uh they're basically chatting, right? Could you pinpoint to where the most chatter's going? This would again go against exactly what the other druid said. Pointing that out. But they can't hear you. <laughs> I know. Yeah, like, not focusing on what the plants here are telling us, but could you pinpoint to where, uh, like, say, somewhere else in the room, like, over here chatter going on to another part of the maze? Like, you know when you're in a busy room, you can hear someone from across the hall? Or across the room? That's that's what I'm trying to vocalize right now. Did Barakas do that? Barakas, make a history check. What other sheets in my hand? Wow. And that is a lovely 16. You've heard slight whispers that sound like this before. You think back to your home. And you're used to listening to whispering plants. This is far more familiar than you actually thought it would be. I will listen, but you guys go out in the corner. Okay, I shall do it by myself. You stand over there. Okay. There is that small right path where you guys are about to go before Red freaked out and lost her mind and was eaten I by the plants. I know where Barakas has told, us to, uh, told me to go. Are you going to Iron Mesh? Sure, why not? Because <laughs> Emrys goes with. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you guys kind of like walk down the little hall and you can actually see, you feel a bit of fuzziness and you can actually see that there's a, another chest kind of just right there. It's a really short hall, just a single, just two turns and you see another I chest. I inform Barkos that there's a chest here. I'll go scope it out. Don't do anything stupid. I shall try. Don't let the gnome touch anything. 
The no one shall not touch anything. Then it's it. my job to do the chess, or you feel a gross little hand on your shoulder. It's your job. I'll smack his hand. Stop it. <laughs> but yeah, there is a chest there. I go carefully and I'm gonna try and detect Arcana on it. Okay, yeah, roll for Arcana. Sixteen. Sixteen. You can definitely feel magic coming from the chest. Alright. Uh, I basically tell. You also uh, notice that it's locked. It looks like. Please. <laughs> um, I asked uh, Iron Mesh if she would uh, be so kind as to work her eyes. I do not want her to be blinded if this is what another one of those exploding light chests. Or you could have their rogue lock pick it. Okay. Just, just, just saying. I, so you weren't told with the chest at all. You just heard screaming in a blinding light. I didn't yeah. tell you. All right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, AI or Mesh? Yes. You have, uh, locked picked out of our prisons before. Many times. Could you come check this peculiar looking chest? Sure. I check the chest for traps. Okay. Uh, <coughs> what would I roll for that? Intelligence. One As one. I try and, uh, clean Emmer's up. That is an 18. 18. Uh, it, there doesn't seem to, there seem doesn't seem to be a trap on it. You you think that with a delicate touch and gently opening it, you should be fine. But there is a lock there, so I will lock pick it. I've got your lock pick tools. I got my lock pick tools. All right, then make a dexterity check for me, please. Yep. Twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah, it only takes like a minute, and Iron Mesh is able to flip. The and like the lock falls off, and then she slowly opens it. There is an orb, a, a little gray orb, and it uh, looks like there's wind inside of it. I take, I pick up the orb, and I'm like, I'm gonna put this in uh my sack. You guys have obtained a gust spell. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and <laughs> while you guys are doing this, Barakas, you're left at the wall. Where Red got swallowed through, and um, Red, did you stay in the same spot? Oh yeah, too busy trying to block it out because that's the only thing she's been practicing for a year. She really hates hearing the plants right now. Okay, and Barkas, yeah, it's up to you. I'm gonna open up my ears to the whispers. Listen. Yeah, you, you step up to the wall, and yeah, you can hear whispers, and that is actually very loud. And they're all, it, it sounds like they're screaming. And not at you, but they're all around Red. It seems that Red is still nearby. She's still th just through this wall. And they're kind of beckoning for you to join. I'm not going to join them. I'm going to see if I can cut to the hedge. Okay, yeah. Do you have a sword? I got that. Nice, lovely knife that I stole from someone. Oh yeah, so you, you got a <laughs> kitchen knife. All right, yeah. So with the kitchen. And well, knife. I have a scimitar as well. Scimitar ki or it kitchen totally knife. Comes apparently normal for a druid. Yeah, which is weird. weird. I thought that was weird. <laughs> so but which one are you using though? I'll use my dagger because I don't want to accidentally injure her in case she's like just inside the bushes. And. And yeah, actually, as you begin to hack away at the bushes, the plants are continuing to scream. And Red, I'd like you to make a perception check. Well, I'm trying to pull coast though. Well, it's really I'm going to talk to the plants in the abyssal, telling them to shut the fuck up. They begin screaming well, back at you. Not a one, and it's perception, right? Yeah. Okay. Advantage. So eleven. Eleven, you hear I'm they're, they're screaming it. louder, uh, what's it, and louder, and you need to make a, a wisdom saving throw for me. <laughs> Eighteen. I like the second roll, but you said disadvantages on all these? Yeah. Okay. So that means I got one of ten. And you, you're, you're managing to kind of hold on. You haven't completely broken yet, but they're, they're screaming about how being they're ripped apart now. And Barakas, you've managed to make a hole, and you see Red is down there, but the sitting. maze is sitting. sitting. But the 
maze is trying to close itself again, but it seems that you could, if you chop it down fast enough, you I'm could gonna, rip her out. With one hand, I'm gonna continue chopping with my knife, and the other hand, I'm gonna get my whip to like lasso her to drag her out. It's not hurt. It's not barbed. Oh, it right, you've got normal whip. That's right. You've got you a horse hair whip. Yeah, you've got a normal whip. Yeah. I'm the one who's thinking. No, I'm not gonna cast thorn whip to exactly. get you out. I have an actual normal whip. And you, you, you feel something grab your arm and you finally look Yeah, up. I rolled a net 20, so. Yeah, you, and you, and you look up. The behind you, though. Yeah, it is behind you, and you look up and you can see what As you're I being do that, I'm speaking in Druidic. It's me, Tharkas. It's one of those, hold on to that, because we're done. Yeah, like a, because I'm still <laughs> trying to block that shit out. Yeah, and, and with, and, and with, like, Tharkas speaking to you in Druidic, you're able to, like, break, like, free from, like, the screams and you're, are you gonna try and get through the hole that he's oh, trying to carve? Yeah. yeah, you for you. I'd like you to make a strength check as you're trying to force your way through. Is it with just a regular? Just a regular. Okay. Yes. Good eleven. Barakas would like you to make a strength check. <laughs> make it a good one. There's a reason why my character doesn't do physical activity. Twenty one. Twenty one. The it, it's closed around her, so half of you is out, but Barakas is, is able to yank you the rest of the way through the hedge maze. No, 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 Barakas. Take kind of damage. Save the life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Luckily, it's one she doesn't. Well, he doesn't mind. Yeah, there's plenty of scratches. And <laughs> as you pull Red out, Iron Mesh, Q and Emrys are coming back triumphant from their little excursion. And I'll be swearing in Abyssal again, saying the fucking bushes, the fucking piece of fey. Uh, I bring the... the orb of... I'm swearing a lot of this one. Not far. <laughs> and I show <laughs> sure what right. we found to... <laughs> uh, I bring up the orb of Gus that we found, and I show Barakas. That we had uh, located this, and if he knew because he doesn't know what it is. Okay, so I guess I have to roll for Arcana, or do I, would I recognize it? Uh, roll for Arcana, yeah. <laughs> Just don't touch the tail. Which one? Okay. Uh, 17. I don't see the leg. I'm not going that far. Seventeen, yeah, you can feel that this is, seems to be a gust spell, a concentrated gust spell. Yeah, so you guys are left standing there in the hall, and it seems that you guys can all hear it now, but, like, the mage is slightly shaking. It sounds like a hissing sound that does not appreciate being hacked through. I hiss back. And actually, Keo, you can understand what they're saying now out loud. It, it, the, the, the maze seems to actually be talking to you. You, you can seem to understand, and it hates you guys. Don't listen to the edge. Well, I don't think it's... All of us, I think. I think it's mostly just Barakas, yeah, who who ripped through it. I'm not paying attention to it. I'm like rude, indeed. But as you guys continue, uh, as you guys continue forward, there's a there's a fork to the left. But Emma's like, yeah, that's the right one. That's what the plan said. That's the correct way to go. And there's like one to the right. Shut the gnome up. Come on! He's like patting your, your head gag. iron mesh. Okay. Gag. He's like, gag. come on! He's like pointing, you know, definitely go to the left. He's pointing, and then there's it's one of those paths to the right. I'm part of your cloak to my wrist so I don't pull another Emerus. <clears throat> but yeah, so you guys can go to the left where Emerus is pointing, or to the right? Going the opposite of what the plants say. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so you guys head on to the right, and you continue down the path. There's a couple twists and turns, but Emrys keeps pointing the way, and that while the maze is, like, hissing, you guys seem to actually be headed, you guys are headed a bit farther away from the tower, but you keep going. You think that you guys might actually be on the right track, and I'd like you guys to make another wisdom saving throw. Disadvantage or not? Disadvantage. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Fifteen. Fifteen. No, not fifteen. Seventeen. Because I'm proficient. Eleven. <laughs> 16. You're holding on as best as you can. I tied my wrist to the cloak here. Yeah. Emrys is now screaming at the top of his lungs. And he's he's gagged. gagged. He's gagged. Oh, he's gagged. 
He's still flailing his arms. He's still kind of slapping your shoulders. I'm <laughs> taking the rear in case there is a breakage in the runner. He really wants to escape right now. But you guys have come, what is it, to, to another fork in the road, left or right. And uh, Emrys this time, he, he's, he's pointing to the right again. He's more like he's throwing his entire body to the right as best as he can. I'm gonna roll for perception. Roll for perception. Okay. Eighteen. You kind of peek down and you notice there's another dead end, but there does seem to be something at the end of the hall. The fuzziness is there, but once again, it breaks from your eyes, and you see that there's another chest. There's a chest down that way, but we shouldn't all go. Well. I should probably go again to lock check it. Yes. All right. I'll keep up the rear just in case there's any runners. Okay, so Kia, you're going on your own. I oh. am so fucking sorry. Okay, <laughs> finally it's so not me <laughs> doing this too, though. You know what? I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna make a little map of who's playing who. You can do that. Sure. Iron Mesh. You, you, you are. Uh, I guess I'll go alone. Yeah, well, well, you no, 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 yeah, got yeah, I guess he got Emrys. <laughs> yeah, Emrys. Yeah, was it Emrys? He's kind of like leaning back as far as he's able to. He's upset that he can't walk around right now. But yeah, you managed to approach the the chest, and it seems to be the same kind as before. So I'd like you to make a slight of or, or check for traps. Are you going to? Yes. I will check for traps. Uh, 17. 17. Nope, there doesn't seem to be any traps. It seems to be the same kind of dust box as the last one was. Okay. I will open it with a lockpick then. That is a 15. 15? Yeah, it, just, uh, it wasn't as good as the first time, but you're able to it took you get longer. it open. And yeah, and there's another gust spell. I grab it and I run back to everyone and say, look what I got. I'd no, like you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. And, and all you're going to hear when you say, look what I got from Red is, okay. Now, I know this Six. is just being mean, but <laughs> I can't see! Six. You begin running forward, holding the orb in your arms. You trip. As it happens, the orb smashes in your hands as you hit the ground. Oh, God, no. And there's a large gust of wind. And Iron Mesh, you get launched in the air. Oh my god! <laughs> over the hedge mage. And you actually manage to slam into the tower and slide down. Is but there any way for me to grab onto anything as I'm sliding down? Um, actually, um, yeah, you can, you can, as you slide into, yeah, the front of you is slammed into it. You're, well, maybe ten feet, like, onto the tower, but if you want to try and grab, yeah, you can hold. I'm gonna grab onto something. Okay, try you try yeah. So so roll the me a uh, strength check. We'll say eighteen. Did I just hear the giant scream? You yes, you yes. guys saw what happened. I am describing. Red hears you guys scream. I am describing to Red what they has, tripped. What happened? I'm already in every detail about, about it. Oh. They tripped and they broke the gust spell and they went flying into the tower. So luckily it was aimed at them and not us? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're hanging on to the tower, and I'd like you to make like a quick perception check. Nineteen. Nineteen. You notice maybe about a foot below you is actually like a, a hedge wall, and you can kind of see the path that your friends are on, and they can go, they're, they're headed the right direction. I scream and tell them to go the, the, the direction they need to, to get to me. And also, as it's happening, you feel vines on your feet. They're like tickling your toes just a little bit. You're like, feel, I'm not ticklish. Can, uh, you can feel the vines are just slowly trying to drag you inside of them. But yeah, she begins to scream directions at you guys. And I'd like you guys to make. I'd like all of you guys to make intelligence checks, including you, just, just in case. I got a 16. 16, yeah. 18. A decrease. Uh, a natural 20. Right so sixteen, and and you guys, yeah, you guys are able to follow Iron Mesh's like instructions on how to get closer to the tower, and they're still the vines are still climbing up your legs, and you can hear 
She is cheating! Because <laughs> you can see. And actually, you, you realize if you throw yourself off to the left, you'll land, like, in front of where the, like, where a giant window is, like, at the top. Like, you know, like, oh, hey, this might be where we want to go. I do that. <laughs> you try and wrench yourself left. I'd like you to make a strength check. Is she getting, like, entangled on the, the, on the wall? Twelve? Y yeah, you manage to rip yourself off left and fall in front of where you're pretty sure you're supposed to go. And, like, and you smile, and then you feel, like, a, a, a like little hand flailing underneath you. Amaris has been smooshed. <laughs> he's very upset, although he seems to be his regular self now. Okay, well, I took the gag out of his mouth, then. <sighs> what the hell was that? What kind of magical bullshit? That was fun. And you guys have actually just managed to round the last corner, and you see Iron Mesh standing there smiling as there's still some like the there's still some remnants of the plants around on your legs and they're like kind of like being really gross and like crawling around your legs kind of they still want to try and swallow you but you managed to make it through hey we got here doesn't matter if it was cheating or not they never said we could cheat technically it's not cheating if you did not intend to do so in the beginning Exactly, it was an accident. And uh, they did not say we could not go over the hedge. Kyo's just waiting True. and it's got Iron Rush. Bye! Or technically Bye. through. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, you guys find yourself standing now in front of the tower, and yeah, there's a single window up there. How are you guys going to get up there? Can I see yet? It's getting a little bit better uh, for you. Did you find out if you... It just says healing, like increased HP. So all these people push your So it can't cure anything? Like uh, a disease or a condition? Sure. No, so entirely different. That's an entirely different Yeah, to yeah. heal effects, there you need like a dispel or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's also, there is also things for actually. Oh no, it says um, alternatively, you can expend five hit points from your pool of healing to cure the target of one disease. Or neutralize one po poison effect. You can cure multiple diseases, multiple poisons with a single use of lay on hand. Cool. So you guys now stand in front of the tower. What do you guys plan on doing right now? Uh, short, short, short rest. rest. Short rest. Yeah, I can wait for Red to become unblinded. That'd be lovely. Thank you. Part of the reason. <laughs> and I would like to be able to use my beast form. Same. Uh, if you guys, was, you guys can roll some, what is it, hit dice if you're injured or not. I'm right good. Now. I'm good. I'm just angry at Faye. I actually am going to regain five because I got shot in the shoulder that was never healed. Um, yeah, so roll a, roll your hit dice then. Because you never asked for healing. Oh. Are you going to roll a hit dice, yeah. Red? Because you, you're the only one I think who's been really injured. No, I just rolled a while ago. I healed her. Oh, you healed her? Okay, so. Well, on our way back to the cage, like when we were leaving the forest, I did healing world word. Right. Yeah, and as you guys are sitting there waiting, you feel the maze has become less angry. It stopped shaking. It's no longer affecting you guys. And uh, for Red and for Emrys, slowly but surely, your vision is becoming a little better. You can start to see fuzziness again. Well, I'm not going to be. That is one hell of a tall tower. Yeah, it is absolutely tall. And um, I'd like to ask how many, how much rope do you guys have? I got. I have fifty feet. You have fifty. I got the two. I got the twenty rope and fifty feet. So you have the twenty feet of rope, Keo. Red, do you have any rope? I have the fifty foot. You have fifty feet and fire got you feet as well. Okay. So and then there. if I'm going to buy a snake form, it's ten feet as well. Yeah, it seems that you guys have more than enough rope to get up to the tower, which is good. But how are you guys going to get the rope up to the tower? You have the, a single gust spell. I could throw you. Oh, the one we have a javelin? Yes. We need to make something to secure it when we get up top in case there's nothing inside. It's true. Do we have anything metal? I thought she was going to have any grappling hooks. 
No, she but uh, Iron Mesh got smacked into the wall. She didn't get up, she did not get up that high. She just kind of about ten feet up and smashed into the wall. Yeah, and then was kind of hanging up there up on the hedge maze. But she threw herself off. But we don't have grappling clips, but we have a bunch of crowbars. We fashion those together. Keep up and up. I don't know if your guys' flames will be hot enough to do that. But I think you guys can definitely try. Might as well. No harm in it. I can make the flame hotter. I can use the food pack just because I'll find things in the end and then I'll get them. So you guys will light a torch and attempt to, to a weld? Light weld. To weld. A know. light weld using thaumaturgy. <laughs> Turn it into a white fire. White fire? Yeah, a white fire. Because we can, I can change the colors of the flames, and by changing the colors, it changes the temperature. Uh, it might be cosmetic, but I'll let the, I'll let that slide. Yeah, you guys can try and melt them together. Emrys hands over his crowbar. I've got one too, and I have one, so we have our standard grappling hook. Oh, we need to bend. Who's the strongest? We need to bend the crowbar so we're a hook. I'm okay. strong, but he he'd be stronger. I think Kia would be stronger. Alright, make uh, a strength check, Kia. Like <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one for the first one? Yeah, you're able to bend the first curl bar as well. And then for the next two. Eighteen. Eighteen. You continue bending them without a problem. And the last one? Yep. Alright, and that is the next one. Nineteen, yeah, without any problems, Kyo was able it was able to bend them all, which is nice. And so you guys are going to attempt to melt them together. Uh, do a light weld and then bind them with yeah. some druidcraft. Yeah. Does anyone have torches? Yeah, we all have we torches all have and torches in our packs. Yeah. All right, yeah, you guys. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I take out my flint and light one of my torches. All right, yeah. So you're you're holding it. So who's gonna hold the? If I'm using druid craft, I'm gonna have to hold them and try and put them together. So we should make Kyo hold them because he won't yeah. get burnt. No, and, and I'll keep myself close enough to try and druid craft to get them together. I mean, well, I could hold them too, but I have the torch. I could hold the torch while you, because you have resistance to fire. All right. Yeah, so so what are you doing with your druid craft to them? That's just it. I'm trying to get them to actually bind. Maybe after they've been lightly yeah. welded, you can After we lightly weld, then that's we're going to tightly bind yeah. it together. So that is a more secure. Thank you. So I guess, yeah, so I'll let you with your thaumaturgy. It takes, a, it takes a bit of time, but it seems that they're getting, starting to get hot enough that they're starting to stick together. And then once uh they're all lightly welded together. I want to heat up the ends and get that one to twist weld it. You want to attempt to twist it. Hot, you, you twist, you twist it. The, bottom, the bottom. Two turns at least. I'd do a strength check but at disadvantage. It would be really hard to twist the three of them together even if it is hot. Sixteen and nineteen. Okay, yeah. It's, it's not a full twist, but he's managed to twist it enough. It seems that they'll I'll stay give it together. More for when you bind it with your druid crap. Yeah. Yeah. So it it first seems to be stuck together now. Yeah. So you're gonna use, try and use your druid crap. Well, first, you I'm gonna rub some dirt on it till it cools. Okay. Quench it's it. Cool enough. You know, because we don't really have much else to punch right and, now. And, well, we have our water flask. I'll dump some of my water flask after we punch it with dirt first. Yeah. And I'll pour some water on it. There's a hiss. And then I'll use the jury cup crown to bind around not only, like, the bundle part with the hooks, but along the entirety of the shaft. As well as the, uh, what, yeah. the three yeah. things. Yeah, the small, yeah. Here. yeah, small little vines. So it, 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 it goes around individually and taunts them. Yeah, so yeah, small little vines begin to spread around the crowbar, holding it securely together, and you guys manage to attach the rope. So, who's going to throw it? I could. Okay, so 
Are, well, how are we gonna? Are we gonna? Mm -hmm. Am I gonna carry the grappling hook in my mouth as I turn into my snake javelin? <laughs> <laughs> that would work. Yeah, that but we work. have to remember to tie the rope to the grappling hook. Yep. Okay, let's do that. Do you really think that you could become rigid enough? That I that someone could throw you. Have you seen people throw she snakes? Have to, she doesn't have to be a javelin shit snake. We're gonna say she can take her by the end of the tail, whip her around a few times, and kind of like um, you just might get a little dizzy. shot put. Kind of like a shot put. Exactly. Thank you, Meg. Because the hook will weigh the head. All right. The hook will give me that weight. Or I can coil onto a tight ball, so I'm like literally a shot put, and just go. Yes, we could do that. Yeah, you coil around the hook, or sits there with the thing in. Okay. Now, I don't think I can throw you, though, far enough up there. I think it's too high. That's why there's a gust spell. That's why I'm saying we yeah. can use the gust spell, then. Yeah, we can use the gust spell. Holding in my tail, and then I toss it? Well, you're gonna be coiled up with the hook in your mouth. You can coil around the gust One spell. of us can throw it in between while she's throwing it up. I, if you want, I can throw the gust right. spell at you. So, you, <laughs> so you're gonna throw, uh, what is it, a bar across as hard as you can, and you're gonna throw the gust spell underneath him? Yeah. This just got really complicated. <laughs> 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 you know, the plan is really, 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 really overly complicated. So it should work, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Simplicity is, you know, overrated. So. <laughs> Wait, I've got another problem. Yeah. If this all works and and nowhere does manage to, you know, secure this line, there ain't no way, no way you get me to climb that thing. Someone's gonna have to carry her. Trying to. <laughs> that is, like, I can chipmunk it and, and be pocketed and I'll be fine, but I am not climbing that. Heel Everyone's worst memory, couch. gym class, and the it's a dreaded couch. rope. I'll think about it. Yeah, and Keo is offering his clean uh, little pouch on his back. That does, doesn't sound safe. Better than the pocket. Better than the cleavage pocket. But yeah, oh, so he's a big metal giant, big metal ass, <laughs> little tiny chipmunk me. But yeah, so you guys are getting lined up for your plan. Yes. Let's right, do it, you guys. Also, show my boy for you. Sounds better. Can escape. <laughs> okay. So Barakas, you've turned into a snake now. Yeah. Yeah. You have grappling hook and rope in maw. <laughs> I get ready, baseball style. All right. So iron mesh. I grab Barakas and I say, I am so sorry if I throw you into the wall. Are you Are you spinning him? No, I'm throwing him. I'm like a base. coiled into like a okay. ball, so it's like an actual shot put. Yeah. Throw. I'm gonna shot put him up. And then once we get to the thing, I'm gonna extend. <laughs> Alright, so then, um, Iron Mesh, make a strength throw. 18. 18. Yeah, she picks you up, she gives one spin and launches you as high as she How's can. How's her accuracy? I just shot myself in the foot. <laughs> you, why would you say that? She didn't think of it! Make an intelligence check there, Iron Man. <laughs> okay, thank God's intelligence. <laughs> 22. She has the perfect trajectory and angle. Oh, you already could have done. I pinpoint a, 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 a spot on the wall. I pinpoint a spot on the wall. I'm going to throw the gust spell at that wall to launch her further up. Okay, yeah. And so, like, you're you're sailing up the wall now. Strength? At the perfect angle. Yeah, so, yeah, use your strength and throw it as hard as you can. I'm still in the coil so that I can lunge the last, like, five extra feet if need be. Eighteen. Eighteen, yeah, right underneath you. You're, she managed to throw you about, we'll say about twenty feet, and then with the gust, you're just fucking launched right up like towards the window and like and it's there now like you managed to get up to the window you look okay. inside and i go to i lunge to go inside the window you lunge all right yeah I, and i'd like you to make a dexterity set uh check for me all right that's 18. 18 you managed to roll into the window with all the rope in hand and, and, and you land there at the feet of cerulea <laughs> 
she like steps back a little bit. Oh my! I turned into my tiefling form. Um. Okay then. <laughs> and she's just continuing to stare at you. And I look around for something that's sturdy that I can secure the grappling hook to. There's a set of three doors and Cerulea standing there, but there's also like a bit of a lip on the window itself. Okay. Um, I'll secure it to the lip on the window and toss the rope back and then hold on to the rope up top as well to add the extra. Of course. Yeah, hold on to the group. The hook. the hook's supposed to stay yeah. in. So okay. the hook will hook so in, and then I'll hold on to the extra hooks. That are like the part that sticks up. Yeah. All right, and, and you guys like see the snake dart inside, and slowly you guys see the rope being tossed out the window, and it makes its way down the tower. Check to see it's sturdy first. I give it a good few. I grab the rope and I give it a good few big yanks. And it, it, it is secure. Okay. It digs into the window, into the stone there. All right, I'll start climbing up. Emrys is on your shoulders. Yeah. Big smile on his face. Yeah! Up to the top! Is he to hold to hold on to that? By the way, I'm He's holding on to Iron Mesh, so right. I'd like you guys to, I, I'd like you to make a strength check. And, uh, I'm assuming you're just happy in your hands. So don't you climb up to it? Yep. Okay. Uh, 13. I basically take the hook. I go like this with the hook. I let you jump in. Yeah. Because I know you don't like to be touched by the metal. Um, you, you begin to slowly climb your way up, and actually Emerus is kind of getting impatient and begins to climb his way up on his own, <laughs> onto the rope. He's, he's about maybe five feet ahead of you. And, and, and yeah, it takes about maybe ten minutes for you, Iron Mesh, but, uh, Emerus is up there, uh, is up there first, and he's like a big smile on his face. He, and he like, look, peeks his head out the window. Come on, Meshy! <laughs> I'm coming! I managed to get a 17. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna wait till Iron Mesh is up so I don't want too much strain on the rope. Okay, and yeah, and you see Iron Mesh is able to get up there. Alright, so I start the climb. Yeah. Um, Make a strength check. She's chip on four and playing my hood. In your hood? Okay. Alright, I got 18. 18? Yeah, it takes you, it, it doesn't take you much time at all to climb up the rope and. Yeah, you guys have successfully managed to get up into the tower. I'm pulling the rope up and uh, dislodging the hook. We'll and while he was doing that, I'm hopping out and returning to form. Okay, and you guys see Cerulea standing there. A smile on her face. Amazing. I watched the whole thing, and I can't believe you guys managed to make it here. Ouch. Like, our pride. It's one of those... <laughs> You know, I would normally say that that would be very insulting, except I was blind, blinded, I couldn't hear a thing past the screaming, and I had to rely on everyone else to do stuff that normally I could do myself. Barakas thinks to himself, I will accept that. I, too, am surprised I saved someone. <laughs> it's like, still appreciate it. There are many tasks that you guys might have to go throughout the world. I'm glad you guys have made it. And so now we have our final task. And she gestures to the three doors. One of these doors will take you to safety. The other two will lead to certain death. The first door is a rain of arrows that will pierce you to your core. Through the second door are raging fires that will burn you up. And through the third door are a bunch of ravenous beasts that haven't eaten in a year. Choose wisely. We should go through the arrow door. I am very, very quick. I like, can dodge all of them. So, 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 so well, just let me get this straight. You're saying that our mission is now to get out of this tower? Yes. Okay. Jump out the window! <laughs> Jump out the window! Oh, Everyone. why? <laughs> Cerulean kind of smiles and claps her hands, and the window disappears. <laughs> That's cheating, because I was right. <laughs> I was called a cheater. Why isn't she a cheater? That was right. You may have died out that window as well. You I never know. Said we will be die through the doors. I did not say we would die through a window. Uh, I suppose. And so. the rope is still secure. It's okay to run down. Kyo uh, took the rope. Took the rope. <laughs> yeah, I have the rope in place. But I want to do something. Uh, yeah. Kyo is going to do a perception on the beast door. 
to see if you can hear anything. Do you want to roll perception on it? Sure. Perception on all fours would be a good idea. Uh, that would be 11. Um, you don't hear anything. And you want to roll perception on the other doors? Yeah, we should do perception on all the doors. Okay. I inform her that I can't really hear anything from this door. No. And it's not like that means that there's no it. sound, just that you hear shit, you don't hear shit at all, because you're, you're hearing sucks right now. It was windy out. Exactly. I don't have any ears. <laughs> how do you function? I'm 15! I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, I'd actually like to know how Kyo hears without ears. Ooh, I run. Maybe both. <laughs> 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 he's hearing. It just means he's recording. <laughs> But um, you, you go up to the other doors and the, you you touch them, and you listen at them, and and there's nothing. The doors look exactly the same. You don't feel or hear anything. Well, that's true for all the doors now. And I'm guessing they all look like they have the same kind of wear, the same kind of thing. Yes, but she did point out which was one, two, and three. Yeah. She's not that cruel. Are you sure? <laughs> it's one of those provided she's been telling us the true moments. Uh, I would well, like to hear the option if she was lying. Is it Pardon? No? Wait a minute, we might have two people here who can tell if someone's lying. Ernest? Emrys? I know you two aren't very good at it. <laughs> can you recognize it? I can try. Well, all right then. We'll see if she's lying. <laughs> I believe that she's a very trustworthy woman. I admire you. Emrys? <laughs> what would I be rolling? Insight. Yeah, right. That just makes me think the opposite. I, don't I might have intelligence, but I don't have wisdom. Well, they already asked you. Will you do an insight check? Five. I don't know. She has a big smile on her face and seems to be enjoying what's going on right now. She seems so proud of y'all. I would like to hear uh, the options. Again. Oh, all right then. The first door is filled with the rain of arrows that will pierce you. The second door is filled with raging fires that will burn you. And the third door is filled with animal ravenous beasts that haven't eaten in a year. Wait, 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 wait. That haven't eaten in a year? She um, turns away from you all now. <laughs> I don't eat, oh, but I'm pretty sure your organics just... need that. Just open the third door. I open the third door. You open the third door. Thanks. And you see a large empty room with a pile of bones in the middle. Is this the safe door? Fuck I believe sick. so. The animals have it. The only harm that died. will come from you from this room is if one of us grabs a piece of bone and hits you with it. Or she trips over it, lands on it, or somehow gets an infection from it. So it's the safe door. Emerson is smiling. Hell yeah, yeah we're smart! I would like to snake a jawbone as just she walks through this room. I would like to bunt the gnome literally through the door. You want to try and kick Emrys? Through the door, yeah. Roll the, roll the see if you hit him. <laughs> and that's with my plus two. So that comes up to a 17. Iron Mesh, you just see Red kick your gnome friend through, through the, the door. door. It's a bunt. You can tell it's a bunt. Ah, uh, he's had harder. It's Woo! <laughs> so rude. It just kind of hops at you, and you want to grab a jawbone of one of the creatures? Yeah. Whose freaking fault is it? I went blind! Uh, roll investigation. So you can rifle through the bone. Doesn't count. Must be on the table. It's gone. Jack. Oh, well, you can always use precious. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I might have a leash up both that guy. 19. Have you ever, have you ever had a mouse precious? He just doesn't like her. <laughs> yeah, you're you're Thank able you, to pick through the pile of bones and find like a nice jawbone. Looks like it belonged to a lion. Oh. Kind of frightening. I wished it was more canine, but lion is all right. <laughs> but Cerulea steps through the door with you. <laughs> but Cerulea steps through the door with you and smiles. And she's like, "You guys picked correctly." And then you you hear like a slight whoosh, and another door kind of appears, and she walks towards it and opens it, and there's a staircase leading down. Do you guys follow her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She leads you out of the tower and down uh, down and back to the maze. And she raises her hand and the hedges all part for her. And she's leading you guys back to the castle. 
and on the steps the king and queen are waiting for you. The king looks very pleased. Barakas wants to punch the king in the face. I he will Barakas. Want, but won't do. And this is staring at all of you. Thank you so much for getting through the tasks. Barakas stares unimpressed. Please, come with me. Join me for dinner. And with that, he turns and leads you guys inside, and, and the queen is quietly following behind her husband. And you guys are eventually led uh, to a dining room, and, you, and, and and they motion for where you guys would like to sit, or motion to some seats. You guys all sit down? I guess so. I guess. Yes. And rest happily <laughs> struts on over to a chair, sits down. And then uh, pats the one, one beside him and looks up at Iron Mesh, big smile on his face. I don't think there's chairs. Uh, are there chairs or there are benches in this hall? There, there's chairs. The chairs sideways. Okay, so well, if I'm going to sit down, I, I move the chair sideways and sit on it that way. Tail. I have a tail. There, there, there's like a slightly awkward moment, and, and Sirlay is walking by, and she's like, my apologies. And she, like, touches the chair, and it, it actually turns into a bench for you. A bench. <laughs> more comfortable. And, of course, there's more than a big enough chairs for Iron Mesh and Keo to sit comfortably on. And and as you guys are sitting there, <laughs> I'm as I'm only, like, furniture. three inches shorter than you, I don't worry. Guys, this is so comfortable. I'm allowed on the furniture! I sit down. The fact that I have furniture strong enough for huh. you to sit on. Not <laughs> what I envisioned. So your character is like three hundred and ninety pounds. He is a whopping three hundred and ninety pounds. Holy crap! These chairs have to hold basically four hundred pounds to hold Keo up. You know what? There's a nice big bench for Keo. Fine. That's <laughs> just it. It's like wow. <laughs> How the fuck did that rope not break? You know what? We won't question it. <laughs> Nylons? No? Yeah. Good oh. thing we didn't question this beforehand. The glory of the gods was less done. Did you come deep. back to haunt us? Time reverses, y'all die because you fell out of a tower. No. But, uh. <laughs> uh only me in red. <laughs> yeah. But, well, I'll take me that squirrel. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm chipmunk form, so. There's a chance I could survive, but the simple fact is I don't fall that hard. <laughs> but, um, as you guys uh, sit down, food is brought out and it's basically the the same stuff that everyone's been eating except uh for you guys you, you notice your bread actually roll perception checks how about your food you're getting real tired of perception checks six nineteen nineteen bark guys you don't really care anymore you're just kind of hungry I so just want the meat you begin to chew down and, and yeah there's some nice Bits of rat steak and, and there's you know the bread. The bread tastes actually kind of good. It tastes a little bit better than what you remember, and that, that's pretty much for all of you. Red, you you notice, yeah, it's it's rat steaks. There's a couple of vegetables, which is surprising actually. There haven't been many left. You think maybe the deer had something to do with it walking through the gardens, and then you notice that your bread has some spices in it. That's actually kind of nice. It tastes a bit better. And as you and, and as you're like glancing over it, you actually notice in front of the king and queen Cerulea, they just have like a simple bowl of uh, pale broth. It seems to have given the best of the food to you guys right now. And of course for Keo, a nice can of oil is brought for you, you know, for your joints and such. Since I you have don't my, uh, nice uh, wood varnish and uh, oil upon my hinges. It's a rather interesting scene. But yeah, all of the nice bread is there, and Amherst is like looking over at you. I stuff some down my pants. Yeah, Amherst grabs like it looks like a baguette, and he's trying to shove it down his own pants as well. Can you see him doing this? You absolutely do. He's making no <coughs> attempts to. He's, you're, you're gonna hit him? Oh yeah! Just grab the staff and. Boom! No! Stop it! We can have this, right? And he looks over at the king and queen and. The queen is nodding. Yes, you can have all of this. Yes, you can have whatever you'd like. Eat, eat your fill. Don't be a glutton. He shoves a he shoves a small roll into his pants as well as you say well, that. Like you have some something down there for a change. Food. <laughs> 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 
But yeah, you guys continue eating. And um, it's so true. <laughs> and as the meal is winding down, the queen actually stands up and she's smiling at well, not that you guys can really tell. I forgot to mention she's wearing a the queen is wearing all black and a veil over her face. She seems to be in deep mourning for the loss of her children. But question. underneath Yes. I know I've never asked this question before, so how old does she actually look? You haven't really seen the queen's face. Even though she's, she's been it. eating with the veil kind of in front of her face, yeah. it's still hard to see. This is technically the first time my character's ever actually seen the royal family. You can't really see her face. Yeah, that's what because I'm it, it the, the the black veil is basic it's kind of like the hat and it's going over her oh, yeah. face no, no, completely. No, no, no. I was just wondering if you could you know, visually as she tells it. Yeah. But um, she stands up and she's smiling at all of you. You can hear it in her voice. Um, please follow me so that I can help you guys escape now. And um, also, she kind of snaps her fingers and the doors open and some of the guards are walking by and they have uh, gear. They have a, a couple a new like adventurous packs and, and such, some more torches. They have a few nice looking weapons for all of you. Here's the supplies that you're going to be needing for your adventure. There's plenty of the rations, the ones that we can spare, and, and such an oil for you. Of course, Keo, and she, you know, puts her hand on your shoulder. She's gently patting you. All right, please follow me. And she leads you out of the castle and actually through the town, and you see, you, you guys hear actually some music playing. There's a couple of the guys that have horns going. Yes? There, it seems that everyone in the town is gathered around. <laughs> yes, they're there as well. It seems that everyone's there. And they're cheering. There's actual hope going through. It feels quite nice. And the queen is leading you now. She's leading you now through the town, actually to the front gates. And she turns and smiles at all of you. Please, please, find my children and return them here as soon as you can. I really believe that you can all do this. And with that, she turns her back to you and to the gate. She puts her hand through the gate, and of course it disappears. And you guys kind of like think, oh, it's a, her hand is in the forest right now, kind of waving, possibly. But as she takes a step back and her hand appears again, you guys begin to see ripples in the air. And that seems very strange to see ripples in the air. But then you hear like a slight tearing sound, kind of, and for the first time in a year, you guys see daylight, and wind begins to whip around and such, and what do you guys do? I walk through. Pretty much. You guys are all walking through. All right, and I'd like you guys to roll a perception check real quick. Two. Twenty. Unnatural. Um. Uh, 23. As you guys are stepping through Me and, her and the wind, you guys glance quickly back and you see the veil is lifted from the queen's face. And she seems very hopeful. She has a very young face. You remember, yeah. She's the new, young, beautiful elven queen that was brought. And you guys smile. And you guys are standing in a crowd, um, Iron Mesh and Emrys, you guys have just been set free from the guards. Red, Barakas, you guys are standing in a crowd with the rest of the citizens. Keo, she's standing at attention, having Iron Mesh lean against you, and the king steps up, and he tells you, today is the anniversary of my children's disappearance. Fuck! What the hell? No idea. You guys remember nothing. Son of a bitch! And so ends the first chapter of The Twilight City. Thank you everyone for listening, and keep on clocking.